It was a cold and snowy New Year's night. The people were passing by with their warm coats, gloves, and scarves. They were all in a rush to get somewhere. Some were late in rushing to get home, and some were going to a venue to celebrate the New Year. Children were running around on the streets throwing snowballs to each other. Of course, they were the ones enjoying the snow the most. They were playing with each other and laughing hysterically. But on the streets, there was a girl different than the ones that were playing. This little girl was standing in the middle of the street watching the other kids play. She did not have a hat to protect her from the cold like others. Her clothes were light and ripped, and the slippers on her feet didn't fit her right. They were big. She was holding a box in her hands, shivering from the freezing cold. The little girl barely noticed the car coming right at her. Hey kids, stay on the side of the road, you're gonna get run over. The little girl threw herself on the sidewalk that second. But while she was running, the very big slippers on her feet flew off. When she was on the sidewalk, she turned around and looked. She saw a boy running with her slippers. My slippers! She yelled and ran after him, but the kid ran away fast. Hey, stop! Having no choice but to walk barefoot, she seeked for a shelter next to a wall. She opened the box she had been holding and she put it down. She was looking in the box full of matches with her eyes watery from the cold. This was a little match girl, but she could not even sell one box of matches that day. If she could make a sale and earn some money, she could go home and have at least a bowl of warm soup with her mother. So she started yelling with her thin, shivering voice from cold and sadness. Matches! Matches! Anyone wants matches? Matches! Nobody on the street paid any attention to her. So she sat down next to the wall. Her fingers started to ache from the cold. She could not bear the pain anymore. Somehow, she had to warm up. She opened a box and pulled out a match. Her fingers were numb and she could barely hold a match. With her shivering hands, she lit the match on the wall and suddenly a warm orange light surrounded her. Poor girl passed the match from one hand to the other to warm her fingers. Her hands were not cold anymore. She found herself in front of a burning stove. She stared at the fire and started dreaming. She was sitting in front of a big stove in a beautiful room she had a woolen sweater on her, furry boots on her feet, and a beanie on her head. It was so hot she began to sweat. But suddenly, the match went out. With the match out, those sweet dreams also vanished. Her little fingers began to freeze and ache once again. She lit up another match. At that moment, a cold wind blew. The little girl turned to the wall to keep the match from going out, and she covered the fire with her hands. Whilst she was looking at it, the wall suddenly vanished and opened up. There was a big room inside. There were all sorts of food spread on a table with a white cloth, and the silver candlesticks on the table lit up the room like daylight. She stared at the table and saw that in the middle of the table there was a beautifully grilled big piece of meat. She immediately ripped a piece of it and put it in her mouth. Suddenly she wasn't hungry anymore. The little match girl wanted to take another piece of meat. She reached out but the match she had in her hand went out pretty fast. Poor girl's hand burned and she threw the match away. Ow! Ow! 
As soon as she threw away the match, the feast on the table and the room vanished. The wall reappeared. Little match girl lit another match. Now she was in an even bigger dream. She was sitting under a tree on a summer night, looking at the stars above. It was still warm, even though it was night time. The little girl could not take her eyes off of the stars. She never saw the sky and the stars so clear and sparkling before. Then suddenly, she saw a shooting star. She thought to herself, there goes another one of us flying into eternity. These are actually her grandmother's words. At that moment, she saw her grandmother appear. When you see a shooting star, know that someone will take its place, my dear. Her grandmother was visible for a brief moment, and then when she disappeared, the little match girl called after her. Grandmother, stop! Don't go! Don't go, please! I really missed you! To see her grandmother one more time, she lit up another match. She forgot how she was freezing from cold in the middle of the street and started dreaming once again. Every time she lit up a match, she felt as if she was seeing her grandmother and hearing her voice. The little girl lit up another match. Her surroundings lit up like daylight. She never saw her grandmother this beautiful before. Her loving face made her forget all the cold and bitter days she had ever been through. She did not want this moment to finish, so she lit up the final match in a hurry. Her grandmother appeared in front of her again. She reached out her arms to hold the little match girl's hand. They started to fly up into the sky together. The little girl felt a sudden relief. There was no cold or hunger anymore. At that moment, another shooting star went on by. In the morning, the people who passed by on the street saw the little match girl laying down by the wall. Her eyes closed but with a sweet smile on her face. She had a lot of burnt matches around her. The matches which, with their flames, brought her dreams alive that no one would ever dream about.